Hello, it's Dr. Corey King here, and we are following up on our video series for our newly diagnosed thyroid patients or those that think they may have a thyroid gland disorder, but maybe your doctor is telling you that your blood tests look normal, but you're still having energy loss, hair loss, metabolism's not working well, you're not sleeping great, you've got brain fog, but your doctors keep saying, ah, well, your blood tests look normal, try to get some more exercise, decrease your stress, and eat healthier. And if you're like a lot of the patients that I've spoken to over the years, you're already doing that, but you're looking for more pieces of the puzzle. Or heck, maybe you've been on thyroid medication for years, but you're still having the flipping symptoms. So stay tuned. I'm going to teach you on this video why the doctors could be missing some vital, vital, important markers when it comes to looking at your blood tests. And those markers could be a describing or explaining why you're struggling with your symptoms. All right, let's begin. When you go to your typical doctor, they do blood work. When you get your blood test back on the right hand side of the sheet of paper, you're going to see something called a reference or laboratory range. What you want to understand about that range is, well, where in the heck does it come from? Right? So generally, it's the sick population that goes in and gets blood work performed. You don't have a ton of healthy people, thousands and thousands of healthy people running in and getting their blood checked every single year, or heck, some of you every three months. So what they do is they come up with a bell curve of data. So what they do, they then extrapolate out of that bell curve a range that is going to coincide with them prescribing medications or doing surgery. So unless you're at the extreme high or you are at the extreme low of that bell curve, they're going to tell you that your blood tests look normal. It's not until you get outside of those ranges that they're going to say, well, patient, uh, your thyroid marker, your TSH, it's, it's really, really high. We need to put you on Synthroid or put you on Levothyroxine. Or maybe your T4 is through the roof and your TSH is down here and they diagnose you with hyperthyroidism. So they let your lab markers get all the way outside of those extremes before they tell you that you have a problem. So now let's compare you or even myself to healthy people because I don't want to compare my body to sick people. Let's compare them to healthy people. And we call that a functional range, AKA the healthy range. I'm going to call the laboratory range, AKA the sick range. We're going to call the functional or the optimal range, our healthy range. So that range is going to be a little tighter. So if you start going outside of this range here, and it's not outside the extremes, your doctors aren't going to pick, pick up on it yet. But once it goes outside that healthy range, and it's kind of floating in the no man's land, if you will, once it's in here, to me, that is going to explain why organ systems are not working well, why you could be having your symptoms, and those ranges now that you've gone outside of the healthy one, it's given us warning signs because eventually you're going to get outside of the extreme laboratory, AKA sick range. So I'm hoping I'm not losing you with this because it's really tough to describe. So think here's our healthy range. And then your doctor's range is this wide. And until you go outside of this wide range, they're not going to pick up on any problems that you have. But once you go outside this tighter range, that's the world that I live in. And that's where we can explain to you patients why you're having these symptoms when your doctors are telling you that your lab tests look normal. So on prior videos, I discussed making sure your doctors are running all 67 blood markers. Once you get those, not only do you want to look at them from the laboratory range, but you want to also look at them from the optimal, healthy, AKA functional range. That is where the true answers are going to lie. Who does that? Doctors that practice integrative medicine, alternative medicine, functional medicine. We go by all those different names. So I encourage you, find a doctor that is very familiar with working with thyroid patients and they operate within that functional healthy range. And that is what you want to look for in the doctor that's going to help take you through your journey because it's going to be a journey to heal with this health condition. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But overall, we want your good days outnumbering the bad. So you've got to find somebody that can help you do that. 
To learn more, you can visit us at AskDrKing.com. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. All the links are in the description below the video. You can join our thyroid Facebook group where you'll actually interact with current patients of mine, uh, patients from all over the world, and just members that are there in our group providing education, recipes, and ideas, and encouragement. We just have fun. And you know, your life is supposed to be fun, so we can still enjoy ourselves while we're helping our bodies to heal. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video.